and then you get motivated in a different way you change because you don't want to feel bad so uh, okay was that does that make sense yeah we're totally running out of time Oh, that was the end. That was the end, but only three more charts, I think. So the real problem, he's saying, it's not about doing right and wrong or doing wrong. The real problem with us is it's all about relationship, really. Uh, it's about if we're separated from God, if we're not in communication with God, uh, the more we might feel guilt and shame and all that. But if we're connected to God, we know... And we know that God loves us. Um, and we'll be coming more from a place of love as well. And also from each other. You know, if we're not connected to each other in the body of Christ, um, you might, people might feel more guiltier. Uh, but, but, we, but together, in relationship, we can feel uh, more accepted. You know, if, especially if we do it right. We, we'll feel accepted. Um, We'll accept one another despite, you know, all our flaws, because it's really nothing to be ashamed of, uh, and and yeah, and that's a hard sell in some churches. But but this, I, I think this is something we kind of need to arrive towards. You know, a change in what what sin is. It's not, it is falling short, but it's not you're bad <laughs> kind of thing. Um, so as long as we're connected to Jesus, as long as we're connected to the church, and you know, we're connected to life, we're connected to God, uh, and, in, and in God's relationship. Uh, so in lump sum, you know, in summary, it's more about, not about shoulds, but it's all about relationship, uh, whether with God or with one another. Um, so we're free to love, uh, and we could fail to love, but we're not condemned. We just need to get better with, uh, in that. Uh, we also consider that others are free and they don't have to love us. But with that, we also, we do not withdraw our love from them. You know, we don't condemn people. Um, it just says maybe there's some tough love. And it may appear condemning, but if it's coming from love, it's, it's, it's good. I don't have an example in mind, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so it's about relationship with God. Uh, so in terms of performance, you know, we can admit our failures because it's not about, we're not going to be condemned. Instead of, I don't meet the standard so I'm bad, instead you'll say, I see the standard and I don't measure up, therefore I need to change. So it's a different, again, a different mindset. So we look at the quality of our obedience and stewardship and we're motivated to change because we want a different life uh, for ourselves and our relationship with God. So it's another way to view repentance. It's like you want something different. I think this is the last chart. So again, it's a have to versus a want to. Um, that's another way of saying it. Instead of should, it's I want to. You want to go to church, it's not that you have to go to church. We want righteousness. Um, or we may want not want to do the deeds of obedience, but we want the end result. I guess he's saying that can fit into it. Um, simply because Jesus did not want to go to the cross because he asked, you know, can you lift this cup for me? But he went through with it anyway because it would bring salvation to, to everyone concerned. So, so that's. That's it. Yay. 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 So I'll sign us off because we're going to have a meeting at 1. So, so I'll deal with another assumption next week. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, uh, for finishing this chapter. Uh, God, help us to continue to live as uh, Christians motivated by your love and our love for you. Uh, bless our time now in fellowship. Uh, and uh, bless the food we're about to eat. And thank you for those who prepared. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.